Uh, what's the old fella back or if you knew here, old Mr. B? Um, yeah, this is um, obviously my chat, interview chat with Mad Haven. Um, it's once you guys, great guys, if you like, from from North Wales. Um, great music, great everything, and uh, it's 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 it was great for them to say yes to to have a chat with me. So, what I what I will do is uh, obviously basically shut the mouth and get on with it, shan't I? So anyway, enough of me rabbiting on. Over to the chat we go. I don't know if you can hear her. Yeah. Right then, everybody, because I, I will put something before this. Uh, this is Matt, sure. Matt Avon. Right. Could you introduce yourselves, please? Hi, uh, we're Matt Avon. I'm Tom, the uh, lead guitarist and uh, singer. I'm um, Al, the drummer. You... And I'm Morgan, bass player. Hey. Right. Well, I'm the old fart. Um <laughs> Right, guys. First thing I'm going to ask you, obviously, how did you all meet and get get together as a band? Um, well, me and Alex, the uh, drummer, are brothers for starters. Right. So uh, we just started jamming when I was about nine or ten, and then we went to the same school. So we sort of just kind of started jamming there, and then uh, we met Morgan. When was it, Morgan? About a couple of years ago. Yeah, about two um, and a half years ago, through a mutual connection. When I got a new through job, a bakery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the bakery. <laughs> hey, don't knock it. I used to work for Nimbus Go Freeze years hey. ago, back in the seventies. Um, <laughs> as long as you get free samples, it's all right. Well, you just take them as they're coming by. All the biscuits, you just help yourself. And you, <laughs> you know, biscuits from a shop never tasted the same because I was I used to eating warm ones. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, so that's how you that's how you all met, and obviously you're all into the same type of uh, music. Have you got any any particular influences? Uh, do you want to go first, Alex? Um, <laughs> yeah, I I don't know if my musical taste. Obviously, the ACDC. I'm well into ACDC and all the. Uh, yeah, does that? <laughs> the sort of typical um, bands we should be listening to, but um, Dream Theater is one of my. As a musician, I just like um, having to listen to them because they're quite technical and they, um, they're really fun to listen to. Um, and then just a bit of the Scissor Sisters and modern stuff. So I like a bit of that. But um, yeah, it's all good fun. Shall I go next then? Yeah. Yeah, we should have like a pointer or something so everyone knows when to go. We need, we need that hands up feature. Mess, mess. Oh, yeah. I go? <laughs> but yeah, I'm... I'm probably one of the more odd musical tastes because I, I prefer my weird experimental avant-garde stuff and more of the alternative scene. So for me, it's probably bands like Pain of Salvation, the whole grunge movement and weird ass bands like Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum and stuff like that. So, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I experiment because obviously I, I play the guitar myself. Oh, cool. I've got a few of them. No. Yeah, huh. about 12. Huh. Um, huh. And well, the intro that I put on is me, actually me playing. It was just oh, right, cool. I, I just, but I couldn't find my right camera at the time. So I had to chop my head off and do the background. And I'm in space. Huh. But, but, um, but I'm working on some, uh, doing some more different intros and stuff. I'm no, I'm, I don't class myself as a musician, you know. And of course, it's just Tom now, isn't there? Who are you? Yeah, so I'm like uh, similar to Alex into like ACDC and that sort of stuff, as you can probably hear. Um, Airborne, but I quite, I mostly listen to like new bands of a uh, similar style, but slightly more modern sounding, like um, mason hill and those damn crows and bands like that and florence black i don't know if you've heard of any of those but i think i've reacted to check them out i think i've reacted to mason hill oh right yeah there rings a bell rings a bell i, I mean i've got over 1500 reactions up in that time wow i do huh. two or three a day the most i've ever actually done in a day but i didn't put them all up was 11 
Whoa. Well, you do that, then you get you get you get a break, don't you? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, um, a few days break, but there again, I do reply to all the comments. Ah, oh, fair play. You know, uh, because that's what we get. Yeah, well, such as myself, you won't. I mean, bands are into, uh, you know, Thin Lizzy, T Rex, people like that. Yeah, that's when yeah. I sort of started. Um, but but yeah, you see, you're on about modern bands. Okay, Bandmaid's a modern rock band, but the Japanese and the female. You'd be surprised how many female bands there are in Japan, uh, and they're flipping awesome. Because I react to it, I react to a lot of them. But I've decided, I, I've you know, I forgot, I forgot what's happening in this country. So I thought, oh, let me start yeah. looking. And of course, you guys from Wales, lovely place, by the way. Been there yeah. loads of times. I love it. I love it. Um, and uh, of course, like, who's the biggest band in uh, in Wales? Uh, stereophonics probably yeah or catfish and the bottom and a pretty catfish big and the bottom then yeah what about what about skindred are, no? are, are they bigger than those two well i've seen mm. them live and they've done all the uh all the uh like uh download and things like that yeah you know they're probably they're well up there aren't they mm. Mm. yeah it's all right i mean just to let you know that I do know some bands that come from Wales. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some decent, decent talent to be fair. Like Florence Black, we mentioned, they're from Wales. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, yeah. They're, from, they're from the south, though. It's un it's yeah. unacceptable. Yeah, yeah it's another place. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> A bit like Northern Ireland, then, isn't it? North and south. <laughs> no, oh, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I, I mean, uh, so... So how long have you been playing the, your instruments? How long when did you start? What age? Um, I probably, I started on drums first and Alex started on guitar. And then he decided he was bored of guitar and I decided I was bored of drums. So we kind of switched. Oh, right. Quite, quite practical, actually. <laughs> but and, I, uh, I played, played drums, so um, we'd always had a kit, kit up. So as soon as we could sort of reach the drums, we were, um, we were sort of playing behind the kit so so that was good good experience but yeah like i say with the guitar it was a bit too much for me so uh ah. i got to the easy bit started hitting stuff yeah i think i've been playing guitar about 10 years ish and then you've probably been on drums what 15 something like that yeah jesus practically from the womb but <laughs> i've been quite a bit less than them i started only about eight seven eight years ago so yeah i started on guitar and then bought myself a bass and kind of fell in love with the fact i don't have to remember a load of chord shapes so <laughs> that's ideal for me i'm just gonna say that you, you've only got four strings anyway so no, I don't. well not in seven. morgan's case well he's got five strings seven, string. seven. Well, he's got a ridiculous seven string <laughs> everything's falling flipping okay. egg yeah <laughs> Five string is your base of choice, isn't it, Morgan? Oh, well, that's the one I've got now because I couldn't find a decent six string that didn't weigh too much. Ah, six strings too many. Oh, I've got five strings. too many on a guitar, never mind a bass. <laughs> yeah, I've got a five string bass, but uh, I'm no bass player, you know. Oh. As long as you can hold down an A note for the entire song, you're, you're a bass player. Well, <laughs> I mean, me and Troy was all right because I actually created that from actually playing the bass. And then the rest followed on from that. Hmm. Now, weird. But I don't, I'm one of these people, I don't, I'm self-taught. I don't, I don't copy anybody. I don't do covers. I don't want to be influenced by anybody. So whatever happens is me. Hmm. You know, um, it's the same, it's the same with, with anything. You know, if you don't want to sound like somebody else, really, do you? Yeah, you, no, exactly. you, no. You don't sound like anybody else. I mean, you've got your influences, but you're you. And, uh, it's great, and I thought, flipping out, you know, you, know you, you got some good stuff, and I've just been going through to see what else I'm going to react to. And uh, oh, oh, like I said, a big thank you to you for not for letting me, you know, for, for, for allowing me to um, do these reactions and not get a copyright strike or it blocked. <laughs> <laughs> but, you see, I can't understand why they do that, because we're trying to promote bands. Yeah. Right? We don't make money from it, right? 
99.9% of the stuff I, I react to is copyrighted, so I don't make any money from it. Yeah. I don't, I'm not interested in that. Hopefully the money goes to the band, you know, like from the adverts. I don't know if you, if you, get, if you see anything from it or not. I don't know. I don't think we've got a big enough YouTube channel to make anything out of it yet. So 190, yeah, you need a thousand. You yeah, a thousand to monetize. Yeah, make some I'm working. Hours. I'm working on it. Get you up there. Ah, jeez. <laughs> because this, this is this is it. I mean, uh, you, you know, we. I want to. I like to see bands go. I mean, obviously, I take it you're all working. You've all got normal. Yeah, yeah, normal jobs. I'm retired, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Ah, deal. Lucky for some. <laughs> <laughs> I worked fifty years. You know, and, and then, then I got made redundant because I was going to do a couple more years. And then I thought, do I want to go back to work? No. no that was it. So then COVID hit, because this is all just before COVID, COVID hit. Then I started doing, uh, doing this, hmm. this reaction channel. And, and then I decided, I wonder if I could talk to some of the people that I react to. It'd be so nice. Yeah. And of course, it, it, it's great. It's great to actually meet the people. Because most of the people you meet are like yourselves. They're ordinary. They're not up their own rear ends. Yeah. Like, like, a, like, a, like a lot of lot of bands. So what's your plans for the future? Have you got anything uh, planned? You know, new songs or anything? Yeah, well, we're, um, we're all working on writing new stuff. Hopefully some more, well, definitely some more releases uh, coming soon. And um, we've got uh, a couple more gigs for this year. Um, we've got one in Chesterfield coming up in December and actually we've got a really exciting one that hasn't been announced yet but keep your eyes on our socials it's uh, next Saturday and uh, that's that's sold out it's going to be really exciting we can't say what it is yet oh that's good it's um, sold out yeah <laughs> yeah it's going to be really fun and uh, we've got a hometown Christmas show um, at the in the middle of December on the 18th so that's going to be good as well Good, good. It's, it's nice that you game work. What's it like gigging now because of the COVID situation? Um, I think it's on. doing all right. I think, I think we've had a fair amount of luck with it. I'm not sure whether other bands are struggling or not, but in our case, it's been all right. We've we've had a pretty solid audience in all of them. Yeah, it's been nice to see like people coming out as normal as if nothing's happened, I suppose. Because yeah. uh, everyone's had their fair share of rubbish, haven't they, last few months or few years even. So it's nice to uh, just go to a venue and, yeah, okay, the shop next door, you have to wear a mask in if you're in Wales. But, you know, I'm not going to get into that. But then you go to the venue and everyone's enjoying themselves. Everyone's got a drink, dancing, singing, meeting friends they haven't met for ages. So it's uh, it's good to see. It's good fun. Yeah, I mean, when I go to the shop, I always have to wear, yeah, you know, wear a mask anyway. Yeah. Although I've had, I've had the two jabs and the booster. Oh, right. Because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, that's another thing all about these jabs. You know, we uh, people my age have talked about it, and we all seem to be getting aches and pains we didn't have before. Hmm. Mm, yeah. But. Mm. <laughs> I'll leave that one there, I think. Yeah, um, that's for another video, I think. <laughs> yeah, but but um, all in all, you know, I mean, like, it, some places in Japan, the stage has got, like, perspex in front of it. Oh, oh nice. They're not allowed, they're not allowed to uh, shout, or right? they're just allowed to clap. You know, there's certain uh -huh. rules. Obviously, you've not got any M sort of regulations. It's sort uh -huh. of back, back to normal. Yeah, it's nice. There's, I don't think there's any restrictions at all in venues, apart from if it's over 500, you need to show proof of, like, vaccination or, or whatever. Oh, you need, in, in Wales, at least, you need the, the COVID passport, which I'm guessing is just proof of vaccination and yeah. all that crap. But in England, I don't think you need that, do you? No. It's, it's kind of a free-for-all in England. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I've been on lockdown. I was all up. Well, because I don't... I'm, I'm, <laughs> I live on YouTube. Um, <laughs> I, I, haven't, I haven't got out for ages, apart from going to the shop and I go for a walk and stuff, you know. But apart from that, I've had, well, I've had no need to. Mm. You know, that's 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 the thing. It's not as though I've got family or stuff and things like that. So, you know, you just 
get on with what you've got to do. And um, that's that's what I do. I mean, I'm up all, all silly hours because if you like, if I was talking to someone in Japan, it could be two o'clock in the morning here. Hmm, yeah. Because we're nine hours behind. Hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah, so this 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 is good. So you, you've coped with it all right. You've been okay getting through all that, you know, with the with the lockdown. So you've been lucky. That's yeah. Good. Yeah, it's been good for, for other things, I suppose, like like you say, you've started your channel in lockdown and it's yeah. time to do all that kind of stuff. So, you know, maybe we've had a lot, definitely had more time to rehearse and think about how we play when we're at a gig and writing and, and social media aspect of stuff. But maybe if it hadn't have happened, would we have had time to do that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we wouldn't have looked at it. We, we'd, have, we'd have got there eventually. We were in talks just before, but we, we were struggling to get things in motion because we were Quite yeah, busy. it was it was good to be able to to see, wasn't it? To be able to mm. sort of stop everything, and just have a look at what we're actually doing. Just do it more often. But, just every few years, just have a stop for your perspective and let everyone get their their ideals in check. I suppose. Yeah, because several bands uh, are no more, if you like, or or members have left during the COVID because they've sat down and think about it and gone. Oh, that's it. I'm quitting. You know. Things like that. Well, Nightwish, the bass player in Nightwish. Yeah, um, I saw that. Whatever his name is. I'm terrible with names. I can't Mar remember. Marco. Yeah, that's I can't, it. I can't pronounce his second name. Yeah. Me and names, it's a funny thing. I thought, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm dementia setting in. But then I realised I've been like it all my life. So, uh -huh. so, so it's just me and names. But uh, but yeah, it's the nice thing about it, though, it is, is actually surviving and, and doing and getting through. So you've got you've got new stuff coming out, right? Um, so obviously, if you if you bring something new out, I'm going to react to it. If it's ah, on, um, yeah. Who who does all the filming and everything? Um, well, I know the the video you reacted to, Runaway. We kind of did that ourselves, and we were still in school, so our teacher helped us with it as well. But um, it was funny when you said, "Does a bass player have a head?" And I was like, ah. Yeah, because uh, when we did that, um, it was just before we met Morgan, so it was just the two of us filming, and uh, I just changed my clothes and played the bass in the video, but obviously didn't want anyone to see it was the same person, so we just kind of went to sort of just guitar and drums and a little bit of bass, and we sort of managed to pull it off all right. I think you kind of got lucky that I happened to have the same exact bass. The same bass as well, so yeah. <laughs> Although it kind of looks tight that we just chopped your head off for the first video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. talking of that equipment, right, what guitars do you mainly play? What's your, your main one? Uh, I've got this uh, Les Paul custom uh, copy. It's uh, by a brand called Sheridan that don't make guitars anymore. They've gone bust. And it's uh, it's really nice. It's, I like super heavy guitars because when we... Uh, when we do a gig, we tend to move about quite a bit. But if it's a light guitar, I feel like I'm going to snap it in two. So they're proper solid guitars and sound really good and nothing ever goes wrong with them. Touch wood. So, yeah. And Make what, a drum. What you want, Morgan? I, Alex goes first. What oh, huh. I've, got, um, I've got a Pearl drum kit. And um, I, I used to use um, sort of... I used to get cymbals notched or get cymbals that were already notched just because we were in school and not working and it, that was pretty cost effective. But I'm, I'm seeming to crack quite a lot of cymbals now. So if any um, cymbal companies are listening. <laughs> we, we haven't hit any proper cymbals in I mean, 18 months. So now we're back at gigs. You've given them the last two years worth of hitting. Yeah. But um, yeah, Zildjian, Zildjian and Sabian I tend to use. I hope you're watching Zilby, Zildjian and Sabian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, not answering it. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hello. I'm on a Zoom meeting at the moment. Hello. Call me back when you finish. Yeah, okay. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> My sister. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, if it was, I'd have left it. Um, <laughs> you know, but this, this, is, this is what it's like, you know, family. You can't. Uh, but I thought I'll answer it because it'll cause somebody to have a laugh. You know, 
Um, it's the same as I've got a certain thing over here that uh, wakes up and talks to me, Echo. I won't use its proper name. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So you've got Pearl Drum and you, and you, and you like breaking cymbals. Right. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if your bank likes it. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> I just thought of you as a dustbin lid for a cymbal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, video. sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. They're all plastic now, aren't they? I'm going back when they're metal, sorry. <laughs> well, we did, didn't we, in one video? Have you seen our Find a Way video in lockdown? We made you a dustbin drum kit with buckets. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen it. I, was, I, need to, I need to react to it. But also, there's the one I reacted to where you come out the garage and kick the toolbox. And oh, I, thought, yeah. I thought, hold on, it's gone off quick. Did he hit the car or not? Ah. <laughs> Well, well, shortly after we stopped the camera, we all ran after it. Ah, oh, stop the box, stop the box. Yeah. <laughs> right, now then, bass, bass guitars. I mean, I've got, like you saw a minute ago, the, the seven string, which is a Harley Benton. So it's on the budget side, but it is... Don't worry about that. They're, a, they're all right. They're fantastic. Like Epiphone quality, but they cut out the middleman, so they drop half the price, essentially. Yeah. Top quality guitar, but... If you're gonna buy it, make sure that you reinforce the straps because it is so heavy. <laughs> so I, I physically can't use it live without breaking my back. And I, right. I'm for that. So I've, I've moved on to a court five string, which is this fancy fan fret beast. And fan fret. Yeah. Ah, right. Oh, yeah. Never played a fan fret. It takes you a whole about five minutes of adjusting and then it feels normal after that. Oh, right, okay. It's honestly, like, no different. Yeah. Other than everything stays in tune a lot better, especially if you hit low strings really hard. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Well, I can't say I played... I broke a plectrum on the bass, but... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I broke my E string as well on one guitar. What? The low yeah. one? Yeah, it just sort of went, oh... I thought, oh, huh. I, was play I think I was playing a bit too near the bridge. Playing thrash metal or something. Not at my age. I don't know. <laughs> you don't hit anything other than the toppy on, on thrash metal. So if you... Yeah, I mean, right, yeah, I have to have one here, one of mine. Ooh, that's a nice finish. Yeah. It is. Where's Paul? Ooh, that's a nice It's the HP, the high performance. Ah. I want to got it, but it went. At, uh, they were selling them brand new at half price. Well, it's supposed deal. to be three grand new, and That's I thought I can't. Deal. I've got to. I've got to. So I did. The, the next day, they're all gone. Huh. Oh, so I, I timed it right, but yeah, I mean, I've got what four less pools, a studio, and um, another one. I've got one with the uh, auto tuning on it. You know, does that work well for you, or is it? A bit precarious. Probably makes me swear a bit, but um, <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. Going that's my guitar that. of choice. Ah, gotta gotta have something to bend the strings just to annoy Tom because he doesn't like them. Yes. <laughs> you need to carry around a toolkit with one of them. Not with the PRS, you don't. No, oh. um, I I got a guitar once with a whammy on it, and uh, the string some of the strings had come off it. I complained. So I had to learn how to set up a Floyd Rose. Uh, so I know how to do that now. And uh, because I complained, they sent me like a guitar stand, plectrum, straps, and God knows what else. Next day, the same thing turned up again. Oh, ideal. So I emailed them saying, look, you sent it me twice. I said, oh, because of your honesty, you can keep it. Uh, <laughs> ideal. I was quite happy to send it back. But, uh, but yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> This is this is this is it. Great. Why? Aren't, uh, by the way, why aren't you? And have you got the accent? Oh uh, no, North Wales is um is it tends to be quite English. Um, Gwynedd is a really well yeah. well speaking county, oh. but um, from Conway uh, East, uh, it's pretty um, pretty English. I mean, I'm oh. I'm slap I'm slap banging Gwynedd. I I'm probably the most welsh out of all of us but i think there's a, a few different towns you've got bangor and you've got carnarvon they're about 20 minutes away and the accents are completely different hmm. so it, it's literally just like a whole bunch of tiny little towns 
all with completely different accents. And I, I think I just yeah. got lucky that mine sounds normal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sending all the disrespect at them. They, they can have it. <laughs> Ooh, I just thought then while we're on the topic of what gear we use, Alex, you've been known for blooming snapping a pair of sticks every gig. So how have you sorted that out? Oh yeah, just managed to get a endorsement from London Drumstick Company. So, so that's real good. And their sticks. I'm not just saying it, but their sticks actually work. You don't hit them and they break. So they are ace at the moment. I'm I'm loving them. Oh, well, that's, got, that's um, good. We've got a, a deal with Smooth Towns Innovations Wireless Systems. You do. They're like proper sturdy, reliable, like wireless systems. So they're uh, a lot better than other ones we've used before that cut out or fire the batteries across the stage. They don't eat batteries either. They like live on the same batteries for ages. Oh, that's, that's 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 good. That's good. I mean, this is a problem as well with with finding things. I think I've got a a wireless thing, Line Six job, um, ah. not the one that the, the said uh, please don't use it and send it back because it catches fire or whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, but I never it use it. I always use one. use a cable because I'm at home. I mean, I've got a Helix. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, um, and things like that. So, what amp have you got then? Um, I Marshall. just use a, an old fashioned uh, 4x12, Marshall 4x12 and JCM 2000 and just whack it up. I noticed it did say Marshall, I thought so. It's the type of music. Yeah. It. It's got to be a Marshall. I just like the simple stuff. You can just turn the on button and whack the volume up and you start. Uh, it's got it. on buttons, on it, really? Pedals. Huh? Uh -huh. It's oh. got on buttons. Stand by and go. Yeah. Oh. Well, what pedals do you use then? Um, for the normal sound, like the main sound I use most of the time, is just the amp. And then for a solo, I use a um, just like a Boss Overdrive and a Boss Delay to kind of just thicken it up a bit. And we both use these, uh, or I use a Digitech drop pedal. So we play some of the songs in like D standard, but we're actually tuned in uh, standard tuning. But this pedal will drop it down in half step increments so that works quite nicely we, we, we do that entirely for the audience's sake because i don't think they want to sit there watching us slowly tune every string yeah, down. <laughs> yeah. especially if you've got your blooming seven strings going we'd have yeah. to do a blooming two hour gig <laughs> yeah that's why i've got different guitars that are in different tunings although i've got a um a variax Ooh. that you plug in with an internet cable straight into your uh, helix and you can do Tune it by just turning all the knobs. Yeah. You can program all that into the Helix. So you've got different presets as well. Yeah, yeah, feet. yeah. And you, you, you can turn everything off. You can turn all the strings you're not using as well, can't you? Yeah, you can do all sorts, but I haven't got time to do that. So, you know. <laughs> well, I ask because I spend a lot of time doing this, you see, and, and I, I enjoy doing this. This is, this is fun. And then... Like if I'm uploading, then I might just plug the guitar in and play that for a bit. Why, you know, because some of the times you have to wait ages for YouTube, you yeah. know. But, uh, but yeah, no, this this is good. So, so you you've, you've actually done quite well during the COVID, then, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's been been an interesting one, hasn't it? Have we mentioned what? the um, the Stone Dead thing? I can't remember if we mentioned it before. Stone Dead. Not yet. Ah, we didn't. No. We're um we've been added to this poll with um sixty other bands and the public can uh, vote for their favourite band and uh, the winner uh, they go into a top ten and then the one winner gets a slot on Stone Dead Festival next year which is a four thousand capacity outdoor festival so for anyone that's listening yeah people and, uh, hit the vote there if you listen to this get out there and support them now cheers. Don't mess <laughs> about. Oh well, they, you know this is what I do. Get out. Can we put the link in the description or something. I think I'll if we can bang it in there. If I've got the link. <laughs> I will put it in the description because what I'll do with this when I when I obviously when I've done this, it'll go up on on YouTube, of course, and then I'll share it on Twitter, and and that, and of course I'll stick this in a in a decent place on my channel so that when they all come there, this is the first thing they see. Oh, cheers. That's how you get that's how you get more view. I've been watching. I've been watching what's been going off there with this. Huh. So but
But yeah, but I mean, this is this is what I want to do. And I want people, why have you only got 190, whatever it is? That's not right. Oh, we don't upload tons on YouTube. We we need to get on that, really. So far, it's just been music videos and the occasional live that's, video. Yeah, that's what you need to do, music videos. But how many how many views on your videos are you getting? A few thousand on each, I think. Not that's enough. all right. That's good. Thousand. Yeah, that's good. I mean, some of them I don't because I because I I react to new bands. You see, it's like here's 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 the sad news on my channel. I think uh, you don't get many views for English bands or, or, or UK bands, if you like, or wherever. Hmm. Yeah, this seems to be a bit that because I'm I'm big in Japan, but huh. not here. I'm, I've been on Japanese radio and all sorts. I've been shared all over the place, all there. Huh. And apparently I'm at a bit of a talking point because of all the bands I react to. So now I'm, I'm trying to get here, this country. If you check out, I think it's Japan, uh, Indonesia, second. Then oh. like America, UK is like down the bottom. <laughs> and Russia's UK's more not than on the now. top of ours either, is it? I think America's on the top of ours. Yeah. Ah. Huh. Oh, that's good. So Morgan, get a passport and then we can go. Ah <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I'll have a word with Wave Potter. <laughs> he's he's a reactor. I've done an interview with him. He's another reactor, right? Musician. And uh, I'll have a word with him. Oh ah, yes, we to check to check you out. Yeah. There's there's Axe Japan and Wave Potter. They, they, these are all I mean, we're not rivals. It's a community. So we yeah, sort of exactly. work together. So I'll have, I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, cheers! Thank not you. A, not a not a problem. Um, and these are what what I've been told about these interviews. It is it has been helping bands. Um, like I said, more than I know. Well, I don't know because they share what I've done and whatever and all the rest of it. The same as what I will do with you. I will send you an email with the link of this, so then you can do what you want with it. You know. Although I'll carry on doing what I do, but like I say, it's and the quality won't be that. Never is. It's about mm -hmm. 480. It's never flipping HD. But uh -huh. um, but yeah, but um, but yeah, I mean I thought, well, this is what um this is what this is what I'm trying to do, like yourselves, and, and I really like what you're doing. It's just good rock music, you know, a bit of that. You know, this is like I've 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 often said this that, that bands can shred as much as they like, but I says, you know, there's no feeling there. Steve Vai, I'll use his name. Yeah, great player, but there's no feeling to it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's missing. Um, so I thought, well, you know, let's get these bands, get these bands a chance, get them out there, you know, like yourselves, you know, go on, get your Ollie Benton bass on and get there, you know, uh -huh. get a stand for it. I can't, not, not with how much I'm running around the stage, I, I, I can't deal with the stand. <laughs> oh. Well, complain to them that they sent you too many strings and then they might send you a stand. Nothing to do with the string. <laughs> the fact they've sent me a whole ass tree. <laughs> Can't carry a tree. You got long. You got really long fingers. <laughs> yeah, but I'm. <laughs> There's no weight to me, let alone carrying double my weight on an instrument around my shoulders. There is something I have noticed though with the Japanese females. Their their little fingers really long. Huh. Yeah, well, a lot of them. And when they're playing, it's like watching a spider going up and down the neck. <laughs> and, and like, you know, the guitar's like half the size of them because they're only all, all short. But it's it's fascinating to see them. And like, I want, we're, we're watching what you do. And it, right, here's another question. What, uh, what would you like me to react to next? There you go. Uh, what do you think? What videos have we got up? Um, well, we can't really say never too late because that's a, a lyric video. It's only a lyric video. Um, so have you seen uh, Are You Ready? I'd, I'd say go with go with Get Lost because that's the one we I've done we that. Yeah, you've already, oh, you've done, that. You've already done that. Oh, that well, that's the one I did. That's the one with the car. And the yeah. Garage. Oh, ideal. I, I wasn't sure if you'd put that out or whether you'd just mention yeah, it. Yeah, I've, I've done a couple, but obviously there's got, I'm going to be doing more. Um you know, huh. you have to. Well, you see, when we have some new stuff, we'll have a bit well, more. Well, yeah, but now I've, I'm doing this. Obviously, I've got to follow it up with a 
Yeah. Oh, well, check out Are You Ready if you haven't already. Oh, so I'm writing it down because I'll forget. But are huh. you ready? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I have there to make go. notes these days. Huh. We had fun making that video, didn't we? <laughs> just like thinking, oh, what should we do? And I thought, oh, let's swap sides. So we're just like sliding around on the floor. It's quite funny. So oh. you, you, you do all your videos yourself then? Well, those two we sort of did with the help of uh, our teacher from school, but mm. we're going to be getting some other ones done, working with um, proper videographers next. So. so you were still at school when you did them? Yeah. <laughs> well, Tom, Tom was, weren't you? Yeah, I left in 2019, and Alex left in 18. So you're not long out of school then? Yeah, only a couple of years. Right, right. You know, oh, we that's we have actually had a full year out of, uh, you know, COVID-free out of school, have we? Right. Well, I haven't anyway. Yeah, you haven't. I mean, I left, I left <laughs> school in 1969. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> the good old That's 50, 50 years before me. <laughs> 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 but, you know, it's the, the thing is, I mean, I was 16, because that's what happened then. You, 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 you know, you, that was it, 16, off you go to work. But before me, they were 14 and they just started working, you know, hmm. just churning out factory fodder. And, that. of course, um, like most people my age, with this technology, they haven't got a clue. Hmm. But um, I, I just, I, I, I've always been into this sort of thing you know i've always had a love for music i was in a band i bet everyone's fed up with me saying this because i left because <laughs> they wanted to do beatles covers um huh. and they called me a punk rocker i think before punk was invented uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's how i am that's that's me that's you know i've always been into rock music and that sort of thing and uh, i've got nothing wrong they're great songwriters but it, they want heavy enough for me you know Whereas you, you're on the right track and you, you know, you're doing what you enjoy doing, which is great, you know. Oh, and um, this is this is why I, this is why I wanted to do this. And when I thought I'd have a chat with you, I saw it like somebody chatting to you after a gig, and I thought, you know, you're normal. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but well, you know, I've seen I've seen some of them, you know, talk to them. Back and they're just full of them, you know. Well, these are when you they, they get higher up and uh, they forget where where they came from, if you know what I mean. Um, and uh, no, you, you, you sound and this is this is what it this is what's the nice thing about it is. So you all live near each other then? Yeah, uh, me and Alex live in the same house. Yeah, and mm. uh, Morgan's like twenty minutes down the road or thirty minutes at Morgan's yeah. driving speed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't say that, Tom. I'll have people phoning me up going, excuse me, what are you speeding? What are you doing? <laughs> not dealing with any of that. But yeah. No, no, it's 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 good. This this is this is good to see what you what you're all doing. And and it's nice that you gotta deal like with the drumsticks. That's good. Yeah, no, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's just um it, when you're breaking one a gig, it does get a bit a bit expensive it's like a tenner in the car to get there and a tenner on drumsticks so it doubles ah. you sometimes what what did you have alex they were they were like reinforced ones or something that you were going through yeah you had the real deal ones and they were rubbish yeah they weren't great at all but well, um, the look, fact you the fact you actually haven't broken one of these london drumstick company ones yet is speaks yeah. for itself <laughs> didn't they make some aluminium ones at one point don't give oh, him them, he'll break his kit. Yeah, he'll <laughs> end up breaking his heads then. Huh. Yeah, we went to drum fest once and Tom got some carbon fibre ones. Some oh stuff. yeah, they were cool. Yeah, they were well cool. They were hollow ones, weren't they? With like red swirls up. They were yeah. well cool. They made everything red though, so your drums go all red. Oh, yeah. red. That was when I, I was a better drummer than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah. So you've actually so how many years it you say you've been together now? Two, three, just uh, well yeah, the this lineup has been about two and a half, and then me and Alex have been doing the same band for about ten. Right. It's been eleven now, Tom. It says two thousand and eleven on 
some of the t-shirts. Oh yeah, well, I suppose. Huh. So this, so this uh, present like band now as you are now is like only like two and a half years old. Yeah, like. yeah, and we've only just been old enough to go to to play the festivals that we've wanted to play for yeah. you. Um, only since well, Tom was eighteen a couple of years ago, so it's yeah. only been going since then. So yeah, I suppose we proper started like two years ago, didn't we? But all the years before, I've been kind of finding out how to yeah. make a like proper it's... sound and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, obviously that's always the thing, isn't it? Finding your sound. Uh, the... But yeah. So, and I take it this you'd sooner be doing this for a living in, instead of going to you know to work. Yeah, definitely. I didn't catch that. <laughs> you doing... sooner sooner be doing. You know, music than going to work, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, if they've got this, the other technology back in the 70s that I've got now, my, my life might have been different, but there again, you know, it was a bit different then. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so no, th this is this is good. This is good because, you know, now you sort of, and obviously, what about your fan base? You're obviously building a fan base up locally. Yeah. Yeah, we've got... Um... We did a, a good gig right before COVID in like 10 minutes away from where we live. It was about, what was it, 140 people there in this little tiny room. And it, yeah, it was really good atmosphere, proper sweaty, everyone like this much room. And there was we had to people tell people to move forward so we could open the door for more people to come in. So yeah, that really sound, yeah, sounds like Rock City in Nottingham. Ha! Huh. Yeah, that's Probably where I saw it. a bit smaller. Well, I saw skin dread there, but everybody's like this. Oh, yeah. But I'd gone upstairs <laughs> out the way. I was safe. <laughs> what happened in that gig? It was so sweaty that someone fell straight across one of the monitors yeah. right all over my gear. <laughs> oh. That's that's the only problem, isn't it? And, of course, you see, I mean, in them smaller places, there's no barriers, is there? Yeah. No, no there weren't. It wasn't but, a problem. Yeah. It's given us a story, and my gears yeah. survived worse. Yeah, if, it, if the person that fell over the monitors is watching this, <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's, the, that's the thing about this is, though, you see, because people don't realise, you know, they, all, they all think, oh, yeah, you know, I want to do music for them, but they don't realise what goes on behind it and how how hard work it is. It's not it's not mm. all what they think it is. If, you it's know, yeah. all the glitz and glamour. It's very much business first. Yeah. yeah. And you've got to perfect the art of sitting in a car for seven hours and not want to jump out the window. You've got to have buns of steel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and record record deal. Hey, oh, Alex has disappeared. Oh, ta -da, Alex. <laughs> oh, I'm back. The iPad <laughs> and I haven't got a charge. So what about record record deals? Have you got any anything lined up for that sort of thing? Or No, we're, we're, we're going at it on our own at the moment. We've... Um, We've got a uh, management uh, for JMP, which is really good at helping us with all all like different aspects of stuff. Alex, you've, you've gone again. All right, carry on. I'm trying to save the battery. There you all go. All right. Huh. I don't think your face is going to scare your phone into <laughs> not yeah. working anymore. Oh, that's another thing. Why wear this, by the way? If I take it off the glare, you won't be able to see me. Um, <laughs> It's a standing joke, that, because everybody, because, I mean, I've obviously had the trolls. Man, what's that oh. on your head? Yeah, well, you know. So you, can't, so you can't see me parting. Because um, <laughs> well, I used to have long hair, then it just went for a walk, and that was it, you know. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I, mean, yeah it's not, it's, I don't do it for an image, but that is the genuine reason I do it, because you can get a <laughs> clear off of it. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but yeah, but no, this this is good. So so like, um, if anybody want right, next question. If anybody wants to get your music, where do they get it from? Um, in terms of like physical stuff, CDs and T-shirts, you can go to our website, uh, madhaven.co.uk, and then <laughs> you can find our stuff for streaming on Spotify and Apple Music and that sort of thing. And uh, better still, come to a gig and catch it live. <laughs> Sounds good. See, uh, now this is something I always call to uh, do this. Yeah, you know, do I get a free ticket? <laughs> ha! Come on. We can sort something out. 
No. <laughs> Where, whereabouts do you live? Uh, Leicestershire, East Midlands. Oh, all right, okay. Not that far away. We've got one in the Midlands uh, next year, haven't we? April. Oh, uh, Can- where's that? Cannock. How close Birmingham. is Birmingham. Yeah. Cannock is, yeah. Yeah, Birmingham, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they speak funny. Um, <laughs> Lawrence Black are playing on that as well. That'll be a real good one. Right. Yeah. So at least you get so you're getting the gigs in. That's good. Yeah, it's fun. We've we've just done um, supported FM uh, last week, and we went to Hard Rock Hell in Yarmouth. So it's been been good fun to get out there again. Yeah, yeah, great Yarmouth. Blimey's been there a few times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is good. It's all it's all got it's all looking good. But yeah, you know, right. You know all the information that that when in on YouTube that you put up, which is below. I always put that there on mine. So I've got all your information. It's always in my description. So ah, cool. I always do it because that's the idea. I'm here to support. Okay, I've got my own silly bits and bobs, but I always have the whole information. It's what I put in. So like, you know, links to where you can get the music from, everything else you see. Or I'll just nip. What I'll just do is nip and go to one of your videos that you've got up there and just take the whole content, if you like, and whack it below with all your details in. Oh, yeah, that's Cop- fantastic. Copy and paste, yeah, it's yeah. easy. I'm lazy. Saves typing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the I- that's the idea of it. That is the idea of it. And uh, this is this is good. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I've been on a bit now, so I think we'll wrap it up. Because huh. um, uh, I can talk all night. <laughs> but but um, but yeah. So I'll, I'll wrap this up. So, so what I'm going to say to everybody, well, I won't say it now, but because I will put a start on and an end, right? And then that's when I let rip at the end. I start, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You'd have to watch it to see. Um, but, oh, yeah, so I, I'm going to end this now. I'm going to say say cheerio, but obviously I'm just going to stop the recording and then uh, when I find it, um, bloody thing moves. It's always the same. When I'm recording it, download it to me, it's down the bottom, right? Yeah, you know, the start and stop for yeah. it. Then when you go to them, it's moved up there now uh-huh. but yeah so i'm going to say you know if you like to say cheerio to everybody right thanks right. very much for uh listening and cheers oh, for having us on oh, and don't for forget to on. vote yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> head over and, and register a vote if you can on our facebook page don't worry that'll be on there as well <laughs> <laughs> right anyway yes, thanks very much yeah bye for now all right, good to meet you anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah hang on, I'm, I'm gone yet. Don't worry, I'm just I'm just stopping the recording. Right, then, you've seen the guys. Um, okay, now then, what you need to do now is, obviously, the link below for uh, the vote. I'll put it in below so you can go and vote for them if you want. And all the information about the band, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, their website, uh, everything. So if you're interested, there you go. All the information's down below. Three absolutely great guys they are. Absolutely great. And it was that was fun. That was fun doing that. That was really fun, I must admit. They're great guys, like I say. And so all the information down below is go and check them out. Go and check them out. Go and support them. Go and support them. Yeah. Um what more can I say? This is why I do this because bands like this, you know, to support, get get there, go and support them, and uh, they're great. Anyway, there there you go. You've seen you've seen it. You've heard for yourself. Seen what they're doing. Uh, but like I say, all I'm going to say is all the information is down below. So go and check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. That's all I'm going to say. Um, they're worth checking out and go to their YouTube channel. The link will be there for that as well. So you can go and check that out as well and see what they do. Um, And obviously they will be putting some more stuff up soon uh, and everything else. But anyway, go and check them out. So what I'm going to say, they're well worth it. Three great guys. There you go. Anyway, anyway, enough for me. I just like to say thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your comments, your support and everything else. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to support them as well thank you thank you thank you and of course please 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 stay safe and this old fella will be back bye for now